reached out to us with safety concerns over these roundabouts on Streamview Drive. Some call the section of road a death trap. CBS 8's Brian White is working for you to find out what's being done about it. That's right, 14 months later, and I'm back out here on Streamview Drive because people living around here say these traffic circles are dangerous the way they're set up, and they want to see some improvements made to make things more safe around here. A cat only has nine lives. We've already exhausted eight. April Mahoney says this traffic circle in her Oak Park neighborhood is not safe. She's been pushing the city hard for improvements. Mayor's office talks about sexy streets. We got a, a big fat nothing burger. She told me about a number of car accidents occurring here. And last year, I saw for myself the aftermath of a speeding car that crashed through her neighbor's fence and into their home at the tail end of a police pursuit. <laughs> She told me about the time a drunk driver hit her parked car, and six months before that, another vehicle barreled through her neighbor's retaining wall across the street, crashing into their home. Our insurance for our property has went up because now we're in a hazardous area. When I was out here a year ago, April pointed out design issues she said were contributing to the problem. And to this day, she and other neighbors still have the same complaints. What I want to show you is this asphalt. This is four inches. Look here. Tread marks all the way around. People are doing donuts. I can hear people swerving around maybe 10 times around that little circle just to have fun, and it, it bothers me. Neighbors on Streamview tell me they'd like to see some kind of barrier added. I'm disappointed that they haven't done it, really anything. Can I get a monument sign? Can I get some plantage? $3.5 million poured into this, and all we got was stamped concrete. I reached out to San Diego's Transportation Department, and they told me the city will meet with the community in the coming months to discuss electronic speed signs, possible road humps, and traffic calming architecture and landscaping. Meanwhile, April and others are just hoping for something that can slow down drivers around here. This is unacceptable, and it's 15 months later, and I get crickets. In Oak Park, working for you, Brian White, CBS 8. you to meet uh, reporter extraordinaire <laughs> Brian White. Brian really gets in and gets the work done for the community. He puts people uh, front and center, their issues, their concerns, traffic, safety, uh, just everything. Tell them a little bit about you, Brian. I'm working at Channel 8. I've uh, been a camera guy for a long time right here, and uh, I've been uh, crossed over into reporting over the past year or two and getting out here and you know, met uh, April last year when she was um, profiling this issue here with the roundabouts and the, the problems that they have. And here we are a year later. 15 months. I'm taking it all. Okay. 15 months later and crickets brains, nothing. I need your support. I need you to contact your Congress people. I need us to get public service announcements on how to use these traffic circles and how to also use the bike lanes. We need the support of Brian and CBS. I thank you so much. Thank you, Brian. All right. Thank you. Bye brains.